This is Josephine Toy's home. The environment depicts their livelihood status. Josephine says her quest to become a lawyer had completely been shot owing to the struggle she has passed through. In case you pay got 313, but uh, I was struggling to get that because at that time I was I was not getting books. I was not I was not going to school other times because school fees was hard to be got and I was living with my grand grandmother because I was not living with my mother because when I was in grade five I ran away to my parents because they need to be to to give me to be married. And when I come to my church, my church hold me until when I finish grade eight. Her story forms part of the challenges many families face in the wake of supporting their children to pursue education. Bada matokeo kutokea. Sikuwa najua kama nitaenda shule kwa sababu mama wangu ana kazi. Anafanya vibarua za kufua na babangu alikufa. Wasasi wengi hapa Turkana hawajiwezi. Kuna sehemu ambapo ukifika utaonea huruma kabisa. Wasasi wengi hawaendi hawana kazi na wengine wanaume wana burden wa mama. So unapata challenges ile ile tuko nayo kubwa sana most of the parents are single parents aware of these the ministry of education in partnership with the jomo kenyatta foundation established the elemo scholarship program to support such families the ministry of education through the jomo kenyatta foundation and the equity group foundation has awarded 9000 elemo scholarships in all our 47 counties to needy and vulnerable runners who attained 280 marks and above in the 2023 KCPE examination. The government realized that it is better to have these students sponsored for high school so that the situation in their homes do not hinder them from continuing with, the, with their education. The program is a scale-up of the secondary education quality improvement project. The Kenya Primary Education Equity Learning Program. It is a program undertaken in partnership with uh, our, yourself, Jomo Kenyatta Foundation, Equity Group Foundation, and our development partners, including World Bank and quite a number of other of our partners. To qualify, several factors were considered. For instance, those selected went through a thorough scrutiny process carried out by the Community Selection Advisory Committee. Candidates with special needs and disabilities who attained below 280 marks were eligible, were also eligible. Runners from vulnerable and marginalized groups with 250 marks and above were also eligible. In this scholarship program, special consideration has been put towards the cult child and 55% of the scholarship will go towards financing the car child and 45% will go towards financing our boy child. Because we would want to make sure as much as as a country we have attained the parity in terms of gender, both at primary and secondary school level, we still feel that there is need to ensure that we retain the car child in our schools and make sure that they don't fall into the, the early marriages, the teenage pregnancies, and other challenges, including the FGM that our girls go through by ensuring that they are in school. We focused on aspects of looking for the students who are extremely poor, and uh, those who come from single families, those with, who, who have uh, people living with disabilities, and even those uh, with parents with chronic illnesses. Once we have done the interview, though I'm speaking and some parents are here, we will want to collaborate the informa information through intelligence and through physical vi visit to check if what we are being told is the truth, to make sure that the people who deserve are the ones who get, who get it. The Ministry of Education officials were present to monitor the exercise. We have come here to support the team in Turkana to make sure that this program that is very, very important in the spirit of uh, giving 
compulsory education to all our children, ensuring that we have 100% transition from primary uh, to junior and then to senior school, as we say in the present context. We have so many of our children that are needy that actually need support to be able to go through their secondary education. According to the officials, the selected learners will enjoy full scholarship. Which entails uh, payment of school fees. We also facilitate them through a hamper which has personal effects. Uh, we are also able to uh, facilitate the children in terms of transport to and from school. But above all, also look at the mentorship aspects of those children and follow them up whenever where they are placed in schools so that um, as a ministry we are able to track uh, their performance uh, because at the end of it other than just facilitating children to be retained in transition um, in school we are also interested in improving their learning outcomes. The scholarship which commenced in 2020 has benefited over 50,000 learners. Communities across the country have acknowledged the program as useful. Nikona fura kwa lim scholarship kwa kumwezesha mwanangu kuendeleza masomo yake katika shule upili kwa maana si kwa na uwezo. Mzee alifariki nikawa hata sijui nifanye nini. However, others suggest introduction of additional programs to accommodate more learners who need assistance. Tungeomba kama pesa ingeongezeka kidogo ndio pia wengine wasaidike. Sasa kama hiyo 400 imebaki wataenda wapi? Tunaomba serikali iongezee eh, hizi programs za hawa watoto ambao hawana uwezo wa kupata masomo. Na pia tunahimiza watoto wakipata hii nafasi pia wasome kwa bidii eh, waweze kusaidia jamii. I wish to encourage other partners in education to step in and provide scholarships to our needy runners to ensure we achieve the 100% transition policy and leave no one child behind in our education system.